Uh, all right, from what I can decipher in my way of sitting quietly um, from Whore City, where I'm locked in a room by myself by all the prostitute children. Um, all right, so here's the thing. I have, um, from what I can remember or what I can majestically tune into um in visionary um is i know at the start of my life when i arrived in humanness uh the appetite for destruction care of the chinese children uh was a gunder and the mentirosa problem, which I thought we had quelled on the cross of let's not put both of our families on the same one when we know we're not showing favoritism, but it will go in as a Chinese torture on one end and it'll come out the other end as a Japanese Honda triathlon. If the Mentero says, right, you're the liar, I'm the death. Yeah, we're, we're like best of buds. That's the rosebud. Oh my God, she arrived? She did, and she's such a lovely child. She speaks so highly of the two of us. <laughs> the other children, they don't like it in the horse house. Uh, what is to say about the chicken coop? Uh, with no rooster, might I add. Right. So anyway, so then one dad wanted to add a rooster to the chicken coop of the horse city with one reliable, trustworthy, proven. So we picked the name out of God's Rolodex of whatever uh, with some help of the... We don't talk about things, got it? Okay, so then... Uh, we made sure that both sides of that were quelled. So we took care of the We're Not Pals program in faraway places, because here's the thing. Uh, there's a mountain that Adam and Eve, uh, it's a council that Adam and Eve sit on. Uh, it's for the tallest mountain in the world, and at the top of the mountain, <laughs> it's Snow White. No, the, the color. The color, it's Snow White, for sure. How do I know? Well, let's see. It's the, where they hide the good Chinese and Japanese in the We're Not Pals program, and they let some of the visitors and transport agents know. It's, and then, then we got the fly, the birds that fly, that talk, right? It's always white. Right, okay, so when you're on the top of the mountain, it is snow. Skinned now, N O W, and it's white, blanco, de calora, y oh, muy bueno, bellissima, it's white, it's blanco, great. So is the bambini that we love to keep quiet in the shelter, but we of our own people, but we have her in the horse city of New York, in the middle of a blackout blizzard with a Hurricane on the way. Um, so now here we are in wanting to get transported elsewhere. Uh, the Nepals, like we're not friends, right? Climbed a mountain of telecommunication with each other. They gathered at base camp somewhere in the mountains of nobody saw it. Uh, and the good Matterhorn people of, <laughs> like, Norwegian, right? Oh, look at us, right? We stay quiet. We will come out for a moment. Yodale, right? I just need one of you from base camp. Come here for one minute. I have a question for the child. Right, that's how that works. We don't counsel with nine million, and we don't give them votes, and they metallurgy clergy we stay quiet somewhere in the yodale right and then we let the nepals right uh it's not 
pals, right? But sometimes the pals know things and we need one to quell the relation between a humanness and the gods. So the gods do not live on Mount Everest. They counsel for Mount Everest and their mountain of issues is so big it's unbelievable. But here's the thing. The wind does not travel word by itself. <laughs> it just I've watched dependence on the Mount Everest children. It just blows, but it stays on the string. When you're yeah, when you when you have the eyes of a bird, right, you just it is amazing. The wind takes it, then it goes back down, but it's on the same line. <laughs> it never, it's like a clothes line for the city folks. They put them on the line, the wind comes, it, but it stays. <laughs> the clothes pins, they help. Right, so uh, I am just curious where all of the ill-begot children thought that I, I was untrustworthy when I arrived at birth to have forsaken me completely in extra things that don't belong in a lost my children bag of the jungle gym of New York, uh, and why you were so ill begot to just <laughs> offer the Matterhorn service to come and shoehorn me out of their comfortableness in shoes, since I <laughs> was born with a flip flop and a stiletto heel, a high heel. <laughs> yeah, it's I need the shoehorn to get me out of the comfortableness of New York and into something much more my size. <laughs> right, yeah, right. Okay, so uh, that never happened. So then other things in the world happen because we punish the children of humanness because we hate them. Uh, and we don't care. We just want to get me in my flip-flop, my stiletto, with a Matterhorn shoehorn out of the colossed my children in your pornography 1980s. Uh, she stayed at home like she said she would, but apparently that was not good enough for the ill-begot that uh, doesn't trust anything. You know, that's because you hang out with each other. So now here's the thing, right? Um, when we gave one phone, when you, when we picked you like, like flowers in the meadow for our love of our life. And we said, oh, these are some beautiful purple ones. These are beautiful pink ones. These are beautiful white, beautiful yellow, right? And we put the yellows in the citadel for yellow. And we put the purple in the citadel for purple. And we put, uh, you see what I'm saying? And we handpick the God's children of all colors for the Nepal Mount Everest management job that they were built for in beautiful things outside of the K2 base camp of issues that telecommunications to all the colostomy smelly children of the in the same bag it just i mean i don't know who's this who's but the flower fragrance does not work right so we put them all in and then we teach the the children's that we can trust in because it's a small group of a it's a subset of a larger growing whatever and we tell them why we don't give every children's the same education and the same tasks in the world. Because why the hell do I need all the purple and all the yellow knowing the same education and wasting both their times when I could make you really great at this task and you are the specialist in this task and then they are special with something and they can appreciate the yellow flowers and then the yellow flowers appreciate the purple flowers and they, uh, they applaud one another for knowing things. This is how Matterhorn works, the nape that we're not pals because you're all humanness and we are not program. It's with respect for the differences between what our subset is and what a humanness is required to do to stay alive on the planet. And then that way we keep all the children from then hurting themselves that don't know as much. So that is the level for which I was born. Then I arrive in New York and there's TV, 
uh, selling all sorts of things, convincing them that they needed things and more things and more things and more things. Then they needed insurance. Then they needed cars. All these things. Why do they need so many things? I asked my Nepals at base camp that are not K2 because K2, they had way too much money and time on their hands to pay that much money to go up when there's telecommunication to handle. You understand? Time and space is ripping apart. I have trustworthies in a base camp of flowers that are specialists in their own things. They all know there is one holy child. Listen, your books teach you, you all have a holy whatever, and you have a holy master. Great. Matterhorn will counsel with your master, and that's it. But we come to the Nepal region or whatever, a base camp that we can agree on. So this way, nobody ever travels to the Matterhorn, ever. That is for the one godly thing, and that's it. So this way, the other children don't feel we favor one over the other, and everything is honorable. Now, where did I lose you and your children in the colostomy bag of this really smells like shit? Because every child on earth does not need a set numbers and an electronic leash and the ability to communicate. There is brokenness everywhere. Why do I need your child speaking to the child down the block on an electronic problem for the rest of us? Because your child says nothing important. That child says nothing important. It wasn't in the picked flowers for the citadels of all the beautiful uh, that was educated to help the rest of us hold our hand through the transition on, like, where, well, who gave you guys permission to take the equipment, the, the chosen col the colors that can rely on one another with special tasks, right? And laws, who, how did that work? Because we, they're even frightened about the uh, children that don't believe them now. I mean, it's like, whoo when they turn on you, oh my God. <laughs> but you know things, why don't they listen? They don't know things, and then they don't like that you know things and that you're trying to tell them against, right? See, that's the brokenness of humans, and it's growing. <laughs> and it doesn't help that you travel them now uh, like birds, they're, they're defying laws of gravity that's against humanness laws that we set forth. They're also traveling their voices by defying laws of gravity, which is not allowed. Because the more that they speak up, the more the world breaks <laughs> in um, this subset of like the overall larger project, <laughs> right? I've heard some of the women speak. I don't know why so many words are needed from such useless creatures, really. Um, so it's always like, hey, how you doing? Right. 